Hello, friends. And good evening. Tonight, we are doing something special. We are watching special features from one of my releases. And the first release that we're going to do this with is none other than Halloween itself. The original, the first Halloween movie. Now, this is the set... Um, the the collector's edition set but i'm just checking out the special features on the original um movie so check this out this is the menu here and we're gonna just go through the special features on here we've got the night she came home whoops um which is a documentary if i'm not mistaken or or I'm not actually sure what that is. Uh, on location 25 years later. TV version footage. That's fun. Trailer. TV spots and radio spots. So we're going to go through all of these. So stay tuned to hear what I have to say about them. Alright. First up we just watched the trailer for Halloween on this release and I've got to say, I don't know if this was the original trailer, but it's not good. <laughs> it Honestly, the the movie that it previewed for, I didn't want to watch. Um, I love this movie. This is my favorite uh, horror movie. It's probably my favorite movie of all time. Either, I don't know, I go back, back and forth from Halloween and 12 Angry Men. They're both my favorite movie. Um... But the trailer for this is not good. It was like 2 minutes and 45 seconds. And it was just awful. I don't know, like I said, if that's the original trailer or not. But it doesn't make me want to watch this movie. Which is bad. So, yeah. Stay tuned. We're going to check out the TV spots and radio spots now. Alright, so we just finished the TV and radio spots. And I was very satisfied with the radio spots. It just kind of took me back to, you know, just picturing when the movie first came out. I, of course, I wasn't alive then, but uh, it just took me back to, you know, what it would have been like just kind of rolling down the street uh, in October and hearing one of these radio ads. Um, and and I don't know. I loved it. I kind of I really enjoyed that. Uh, the first one mentioned... Um, it, it just mentioned a lot of different reviews like from the New York Times and, and all of these journals. Uh, and uh, one of them said, one of the reviews said, it's so terrifying that it uh, can be compared to Psycho. Uh, and I just love that. I don't know. <laughs> it's uh, maybe because Janet Lee and Jamie Lee Curtis, but um, I don't know. It was just really cool to hear that. And I really enjoyed these. I'm, I'm nerding out i'm i'm geeking out on this but the tv spots i'm not sure exactly what i expected <laughs> um but they were basically just snippets uh from the trailer that we just watched uh but shortened um and just just little clips from the movie so uh that they're a lot better than the trailer so it actually you know made me want to want to see the movie itself and those short little bursts, those clips. So, uh, next up we have, um, let's see, we watched the radio spots, TV spots and the trailer. Let's see. Okay. So we've got the TV version footage, which, uh, is fun. And then we've got the on location 25 years later and the night she came home. So we're going to watch these now. So the TV version footage, I mean, Pretty self-explanatory. There was a uh, television version shot of the film, uh, and they took out all of the gruesome nudity, uh, and they reshot uh, some scenes, some new scenes, to to pad out the runtime to make it longer for television. Um, and that's that's all that was. It was just the the footage itself, which is. Fine. I never saw that television version growing up. I always saw the the original. Um, and then the on location 25 years later was really cool. Uh, honestly, it was, um, 
I don't know. It's, it's pretty cool. Basically, it just kind of shows you the... It, it's from the 25th anniversary set, if I'm not mistaken. And <clears throat> that's one thing, too. I do have the actual television version on DVD as well. Uh, so it includes the footage within the actual movie itself. So I'm definitely going to watch that soon uh, just because I've never watched that version. Uh, and then this 25 years later on location documentary, uh, kind of mini, it's 10 minutes. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure is in the 25 year uh, anniversary edition of the film, which I also have. Um, so I'll be checking both of those out uh, within those sets. But um, the night she came home, it looks like a, I haven't, I just now started it. Uh, I'm about to finish, uh, well, not about to finish. It's an hour long, so I'll watch that. Um, and it looks like this is a 35th anniversary edition, uh, addition to the, the, uh, this set specifically. Maybe, I'm, I'm not sure, but uh, it kind of follows Jamie Lee Curtis, maybe. So, Looking forward to getting into that, but um, sorry, I'm I'm a bit everywhere. But back to the on location, 25 years later, uh, basically just shows us uh, down memory lane. We go to uh, California where the original film was shot, um, and uh, kind of checks out the scenery 25 years later. It's pretty cool. Uh, PJ Souls is in it, and she kind of walks down the street uh, that it was originally filmed on. Uh, we get some. Um, we, we hear from Deborah Hill, uh, PJ Souls and, and some of the, the cast, which is uh, always fun. So that was, that was a good short 10 minute video. I mean, kind of broke down the history of the film there at the beginning and then kind of takes you on location, uh, 25 years later. Pretty self-explanatory. So about to jump into the night she came home and we'll be right back. We've done it. We've watched all the special features. For this specific disc. Um, and I'll be honest. They're a little disappointing. But that's okay. No big deal. I mean they're just special features. Uh, we did just finish The Night She Came Home. Which is basically a. An hour long documentation I wouldn't necessarily call it a documentary, but um, documentation of Jamie Lee Curtis's first um, convention appearance and signings uh, in 2012, I want to say. And uh, it was just an hour of that, really. Uh wasn't, I mean, I wouldn't watch it again. Uh Pretty boring, but, you know, behind-the-scenes stuff, it's cool to see. So, yeah. Boom. One-disc special features done. Uh, my favorite was for sure the On Location 25 Years Later. That one was really cool and uh, actually had some substance. So, thanks so much for checking this out. Um... Hopefully we can dig into more special features soon. Till next time. Did you really think I was going to end the video without saying when the street light comes on, come on home? <laughs> All right, so I completely forgot about the two commentary tracks on this set. So the first one we just finished, and it is... Eh, it's okay. It's it's John Carpenter and Jamie Lee Curtis kind of just shooting the breeze, uh, chatting, little details here and there about the filming uh, and just kind of production, um, like set design and how they painted the house, uh, Michael's house and, and things like that. But most of the time it was just John uh, complimenting <laughs> Jamie and Jamie trying to get him to stop and actually talk about the movie. Um, but then she would just say, oh, man, this this shot is so good. This shot is so good and, and just random stuff like that. So they didn't really put any effort into that commentary track. Um, it was okay. I, I 
also recently listened to, I think it was the Laserdisc commentary track uh, from a 94 release, and it was actually really good. Um, I listened to that one on audio. I was able to find it uh, while I was working and in, in, in the yard and mowing and things like that. I just had it on, and I wasn't actually watching the movie with it, but that one was with uh, Carpenter, uh, Jamie Lee Curtis, and Deborah Hill. And they weren't all together, but they were just different uh, clips of them talking, watching, and, and giving their own commentary about the movie. So it was just kind of interspersed throughout. That one was great. And it it was able to show a lot or tell a lot of details about the production and just helpful, really cool information that you wouldn't know otherwise. So uh, we're about to jump into this commentary track uh, on this uh, 35th anniversary disc. Uh, this one is with Nick Castle, which plays The Shape, uh, Dean, Dean Cundy, and Tommy Lee Wallace, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, we're about to jump into this, and I'll let you know how it goes. All right, friends, we just finished the last of the special features on this edition. Uh, finally... <laughs> Uh, it's taken me a little bit to, to finish all of them and to sit and watch the movie twice through just to hear the, the commentaries. But, um, of course, I was doing stuff in the background. But this commentary was... It was better. It was better than the Jamie Lee Curtis and uh, John Carpenter commentary that we listened to before this one was once again Dean Cundy Tommy Lee Wallace and Nick Castle uh, this one actually had some relevance to the movie and the making of the movie a little bit more than the previous commentary the other one just seemed to be more of a catching up <laughs> kind of thing between John and Jamie but this was this was all right uh, they discussed more of the Kind of, um, like, the costuming and, and the folks that were actually the shape. Uh, they talked some about the shots and how they came across the shot. And they talked really a lot about just directing in general, um, which was awesome. And I, I really enjoyed that aspect of it, that portion of it. It was a lot funnier than your typical commentary. Well... Than, than the previous one at least uh it was it was good fun these guys are they're just they're hilarious uh great sense of humor but but yeah my favorite aspect of it was they really went into the directing side of things sorry my dog's sitting here chewing on his bone if you can hear that <laughs> but it was it was really cool and just how Really, one of the big things that I took away from it was you don't have to shoot so much. You know, a lot of directors, they were saying, will uh, shoot as much as possible. Uh, if the time allots and the money allots, just shoot as much as they can. And if they need to use it, they do. If they don't, they don't. And they just have so many different shots from different angles, different sides of uh, different different ways to tell the story itself, different uh, takes in terms of acting, things like that. But, you know, each shot or each take is... It makes the, the movie completely different from the previous one. So they really just kind of nailed down on, you know, don't waste your time on getting as much as possible just to see what all you can use. But kind of... Figure out what you want to do to begin with, get those shots, and spend most of your time on directing the actors. And that is a lot more beneficial than just getting a lot of different angles, a lot of different types of shots, and, and spending a lot of time on that. Because really, directing is directing, and it's the videographer or the cinematographer who really is 
the one who needs to worry about the the shots and the angles and things. Uh, the director needs to focus on the actors and to spend more time with them uh, as they work. So I thought that was really cool, the way they incorporated that in this commentary. Um, and yeah, this one was just a, a, a pretty good one. It wasn't, you know, great. I didn't learn a lot, but it was just nice to hear little tidbits like, hey, this uh, car in the back was this person's, or, you know, they uh, talked about, kind of just shooting in California in spring, but tried to make it look like fall. Uh, things like that just just really stood out to me, and I enjoyed those. But uh, it was more of a slog because they, I don't know, they weren't as lively and energetic, but it had a, a bit more substance to it than the previous one. This, this Blu-ray set as a whole... Um, let me actually grab that here. This specific one, now this, uh, my holy grail is the original Scream Factory set of Halloween. The one that is like their Friday the 13th set, like this one. The one that's that size, but for Halloween, is my grail that I wasn't able to get, but I was able to get this one. And I know it has a lot more special features and some different things on it than this set specifically has because there's less room and this was a cheaper version of it. And I'm really, really, really looking to find that set, honestly, somewhere out in the wild uh, for a good price. I haven't, you know, wanted to spend a ton of money on it. But uh, yeah, this is the one. That I do. Have. So the special features on this one, the the Halloween that comes in this one, the original movie that comes in this set. Sorry about the <laughs> the light there. Is actually the 35th anniversary edition of Halloween. So it, I don't know. It's I wish it would have had some newer and updated. Well, I guess this was the most updated release of it. But I just, I didn't love this set. Special features. Uh, felt like they could have included a lot more. And like I said, the the bonus disc in the bigger set, that's probably where that comes in. And that's, that's the one I, I need to watch in terms of special features. But, um, yeah, I was a little bit underwhelmed with with the features on this set. Uh, I love the the transfer on this. Beautiful film and of course it's my favorite film uh, but I really do think that when I jump into this set here the 25 years of terror uh, Halloween set I feel like I'll get a lot more of what I was hoping for in this one which let's see we have horrors hallowed grounds an exclusive tour of the Halloween series filming locations on this set. Super excited about that one. They they briefly mention that in one of the special features in this set uh, with, um, oh man, I can't even remember the guy's name now. Uh, but the, the documentary with Jamie Lee at the festival, they kind of mentioned that series, um, but they didn't include that episode of the series on that set, but it is on this one, and I'm excited to see that. Let's see. Uh, well, most of it is it kind of goes into you know the later films, which is fun. That's that's fun. Uh, we do have a Dean Cundy panel discussion. We've got Halloween producers panel discussion. Halloween location stills gallery. Halloween convention behind the scenes gallery. Original artwork gallery. Uh, Ellie Cornell panel discussion. I'm not sure. I don't think. That's a Halloween 1 uh, thing. Michael Myers panel discussion. Uh, Halloween panel discussion. So for the original, we've also got extended celebrity interviews. Halloween convention montage. Fans of Halloween. Collections of props and memorabilia. So over four hours of special features. And some of these are, you know, Halloween 2 through 6. But... The, the majority of them sound like, you know, they'd be for the original film. So it's a, a two-disc, and it also 
uh, comes with a little comic book, and we'll we'll go through that when the time comes. But yeah, uh, I wish it was a bit more like that um, on on this 35th anniversary edition. But that's that's okay. I at least have this other release that I can jump into and, and check those out. So I'm not really upset about it. Um, I also have this release, which is the Lionsgate Steelbook that came out in 2019 or 2020, one of the two, something like that. And um, let me just sit this here real quick. It does come with an awesome slip cover, which is fun. But uh, I'm not sure all of the special features in this one they do have the TV version footage, the night she came home on location 25 years later. So it's it's the same release as uh, the one in this set, that 35th anniversary edition, it seems. Uh, yeah, and it's even got the same art. But it is the 4K uh, scan of it, which I'm assuming is is probably the exact same scan that they use for, for that one. But, um, but yeah. So, I would love to get the Shout Factory, the Scream Factory edition of the 4K, just to see, you know, what updates they've made, uh, the new scan, if it looks any different, and um, any, you know, new special features that have been added. But, but yeah, that is my uh, dive into the special features of the original Halloween in this box set. Uh, if I can ever find, look at Michael Michael's eye there, if I can ever find the larger edition of this box set, I'll definitely go through that. And uh, man, that's, like I said, that's my grill. That's the thing I've wanted the most in my collection since I started collecting. The very, I, I look um, for deals on it uh, around the internet at least once a week. <laughs> typically which is kind of sad um but but yeah anyway that is that uh thank you so much for watching we're gonna do this more often with uh some more films um in the collection uh my other favorite film that i did mention uh along with halloween is 12 angry men and i've got the criterion release of that so i would love to do uh, a deep dive on the special features and I also just picked up uh, a couple weeks ago in the Kino sale the Kino Lorber uh, 4K release of this. So might have some new special features in that as well. So super excited to jump into that. I will uh, jump into both of those and just kind of compare the releases, the special features, things like that. That might be next. So stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching, and remember when the street light comes on, come on home.